Scientific research could find great benefits in linking the natural sciences with other disciplines, such as economy, sociology or geography, as Professor Peter Molinga explains. In a lecture given at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, Molinga said that interdisciplinarity is the key to find solutions to many urgent problems, like water management or health issues in different societies. The event, organized by the London International Development Centre, inaugurates a series of lectures on this approach to face problems. Interdisciplinarity is important because it helps us, uh, in my view and in the view of uh, quite a few people who thought about this, uh, basically to do two things. One is uh, as a response to uh, addressing the, as a way of addressing the complex problems of our time. Uh, where we have, for example, resource conflicts or things like climate change or uh, poverty problems, which have so many causalities and groups involved in them that it requires, uh, one cannot suffice with partial disciplinary uh, approaches and adding them up or sectoral approaches and adding them up. One needs something beyond that, which we call interdisciplinarity. Uzbekistan is a centralizing country facing serious problems to secure water for its harvests, strongly controlled by the government. There, between 2002 and 2006, Molinga participated in an interdisciplinary project that looked for sustainable ways of managing water in the Korsan region, known for the production of cotton and wheat. He says that, even in difficult circumstances, interdisciplinarity can help projects to move forward. Several academic institutions in the north, such as University College London or the University of Southern Denmark, have started offering master's degree programs in interdisciplinary studies. However, it is developing countries, the ones that are leading the way when it comes to implementing interdisciplinarity into their research. According to Professor Molinga, there is huge funding, especially from the European Union and private companies, for interdisciplinary projects. I don't think it helps to think about north-south divisions very much here. Uh, I mean, one could even argue the counter and say that because in many southern places science has to be more hands-on problem-solving oriented, uh, uh, it actually is a more fertile ground for interdisciplinarity than some of the tenure-track driven uh, university establishment in the north. So. I mean, it's very diverse across the world, so you can't generalize, but uh, I don't think there is a clear north-south pattern here at all, no.